Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. You know, we've parked our car at um, a hotel called Jealousy, Jealousy Hotel. And we're visited room one and we visited room two. So we're moving on to room three. And this time, I like to capture my thoughts with Jealousy Hotel room three. And that word that was used, the Hebrew word about the envy of, of Joseph's brother, the same word that was used for uh, Jealousy, and this one, it is fear of someone else's success. They didn't just have resentment. They didn't just have um, unease. But there's also fear of the success of the person. So you always walk with the fear. That person is going to do well. That person is going to do well. That person is going to succeed. You, you, there is there's a fear. It is hidden. It is, it is not loud, but it is there. And it is until you ask God to throw the searchlight of the Holy Spirit into your life for him to help you examine yourself and be introspective enough and to find out that you fear the person's success. You are afraid the person is going to succeed. You are afraid the person's marriage is going to succeed. You are afraid the person's business is going to succeed. You are afraid the person's um, uh, children are going to succeed. You are afraid the person's uh, uh, even dog is going to succeed. There is a fear of the person's success that lurks within the folds of a jealous heart. Joseph's brothers had a fear of his success, as time will show. We're looking at ourselves critically and we're looking into our hearts. The choices to admit and subject yourself to change always remains yours. See you later on Jealousy Hotel Room 4. Please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. Subscribe now.